there is a box in the corner of my sewing room. It is a box whose contents have not seen the light of day for many a month. Many crafters will be familiar with this box, in all of its forms. There's the ever-growing amorphous lump that lies underneath your desk, the monster underneath your bed, the stuff you vacuum packed in a fit of organization and stuffed into your garage in the hopes that you'd never have to deal with it again. This, my friends, is the unfinished sewing pile. So this is the third and final installment of this mini three-part series within a series. Check out episodes six and seven to see how I upcycled this top and cardigan. But today's episode will show you how I altered this skirt. I got this skirt back in 2013 and while it fit me perfectly back then, I'm a little bit rounder around the waist and it doesn't fit me anymore. I can still pull it on, but I also feel like I'm being strangled to death when I do so. So my plan to save this skirt is simply to replace the elastic. With my unpicking tool, I start removing this exposed elastic waistband from the fabric. When I first looked at it, it seems like the elastic was attached with a three thread overlocking stitch, which would mean I'd need to snip through these threads in order to unpick it. But upon further assessment, the two appeared to only be connected with a straight stitch, and the overlocking threads up the top here were only on the skirt fabric. And seriously, this is sewn on so badly. This piece is actually something that I got from an online fast fashion store, and this is before I swore a fast fashion. Anyway, in order to remove the elastic, I first cut through every fifth stitch or so, and then I was simply able to pull the elastic away from the fabric like this. Occasionally needing to stop, cut through a stitch, and then keep pulling until the waistband was removed. Next, with a new piece of fairly thick elastic, I wrapped it around my waist so that it was slightly tight but not uncomfortable. Then I cut it to this length and I sewed it into a loop by sewing the ends together here. For this I used a zigzag stitch and I went back and forth a couple of times. Then I cut off the excess elastic at the ends, as close to the stitches as possible. And then I did another zigzag stitch right over the edges to prevent fraying. Then to flatten the waistband down as much as possible, I pressed the ends to one side and then I stitched over it on the right side like this. And just for comparison, here's the old waistband next to the new one. You can really see here why the skirt didn't fit before. Now it's time to attach the elastic to the skirt. And as you can see, I've got a lot more skirt than waistband, but that doesn't matter. I simply divide both the top of the skirt and the elastic waistband into four quarters. So I put pins here, 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 and here. Then to sew them together, I slide the waistband onto the machine first, right sides down, and then I slide the top of the skirt underneath it, right sides up. So, right sides together. Then I do a back stitch in order to hold the two together securely. And then sewing with a straight stitch along the top, I pull the elastic so that the next set of pins matches up and sew the elastic onto the fabric. And then I simply continue this all the way around the skirt. Now, there is another cleaner way of sewing this kind of exposed elastic waistband on. Where you sew it wrong sides together, flip the elastic over and then top stitch it. And I'll leave a link to that technique in the description box. But I am using this simpler technique mainly because I didn't want any visible stitching on the waistband. Now, I know I'm showing you how to replace an old waistband with a new one, but you can also use the methods that I show here in order to make a skirt with an elastic waistband with any rectangle of fabric that's bigger than your waist as long as that rectangle's first sewn into a loop. Now I just unfold the waistband and here's how it looks. And now it fits. Very comfortably so, might I add. Which is awesome because I don't know if you noticed, but this fabric is great. Bambi! Make sure you also watch episode six and seven of the style pile to see how this complete outfit came together. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who helped to make this video possible. To become my Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria. Also, pro tip for anyone looking to become a YouTuber, never change your hair color. It's just too much for some people. Just kidding, most of you were so nice about my new blonde hair and I freaking love it so much, so thank you.